Welcome everybody, now we have the audio on. So uh, the first thing I did was make an announcement about the Hadley Mothers Club, Hadley's Mothers Club. They have candidates night, will be Monday, April 6th. There's a meet and greet at 6.30 and the program starts at seven. And the program will be at Hopkins Academy. So show up and ask your questions and uh, meet the candidates. And it'll be live on HPAC. And it's always live, yes, on If I remember, turn the audio on. <laughs> Thanks. So we have a seven o'clock appointment with Artie Malcolm. It's actually with uh, Artie McCollum and myself, Sorry. Matthew Andrew French. So we sit down. Yeah, go ahead, twice. No, we make you stand up and then you have to dance. <laughs> no, but no. So my name is Andrew French. I'm the project leader for the Silvio Conti National Fish and Wildlife Refuge. Uh, one of our divisions is located here in Hadley. It's it's, uh, I think it's entirely located on top of, I think it's your well number two recharge area. I think that's the map I see downstairs. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you about a, um, a, a grant. It's uh, from the U.S. Department of Transportation. It's the Federal Lands Highway. Uh, it's out of the Federal Lands Highway Program. It's called FLAP, Federal Land Access Program. It's not my acronym. So um, what we're what we're interested in is uh, we're seeking your uh, 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 approval and support to obviously if you approve to uh, work with DPW to come up with a proposal. Um, the Federal Highway Administration is put, putting together a four-year plan, and there's approximately three hundred seventy thousand dollars each year for four years to facilitate access to federal land or federal facilities. <coughs> Down off of the um, Moody Bridge Road on the north side, 69 Moody Bridge Road, we have our, our we're using the old Brymar Stables area as one of our, it's basically our, our headquarters area, but there's also the, the new Fort River Birding and Nature Trail, which is universally accessible. Um, so it's, it's you know, wheelchairs and, and uh, people with, uh, uh, visual impairments, but it's also really good for young families with uh, strollers. And um, what I wanted, to, what we were thinking about, but um, the town, uh, the town would have to actually submit the grant. We would, uh, we would help in any way we could to to ghostwrite it. But we're looking to uh, possibly uh, gravel the road. It wouldn't cost uh, the town of Hadley anything. It would be. Uh, a grant that would come from transportation. And so, you know, it's, I mean, anybody that lives in town here is probably familiar with, it's, you know, it's a real struggle to keep that thing um, somewhat smooth. And uh, we, were, we were thinking that you guys might have some ideas, or your DPW might have some ideas that, that um, might work that involved uh, gravel. Okay. So, that's that's the proposal in a in a nutshell. As I said, they're setting a four-year plan. If we can come up with something, if we have approval to work on something, and come up with a proposal uh, and and submit an application, uh, I don't think anybody's uh, heart would be broken. You know, down the road, if for some reason you had a change of heart and, and and wanted to back out, but this is the time where they're setting the program for the next four years. Okay. And and. It's not money that can benefit us. I mean, we can't use this money on federal land. It can be used on non-federal land to facilitate access. Okay. So from what end of Moody Bridge to what end of Moody Bridge? I, I see it, but can you give me the boundaries of, is it at the intersection of Moody Bridge and it's from South Maple Street? Blacktop. Yeah, it's from Blacktop yeah. to Blacktop as well. That's where it is. Yeah. Oh, Blacktop to Blacktop. Yeah, because Moody Bridge Road comes around mm -hmm. curves and the ramp before the refuge land here. Okay. It turns to dirt and then it starts all the way until it just goes right about that curve. So it's about uh, 3,200 feet. You just gave it? You no, I, no I, I actually, a couple of years ago, I mentioned paving and uh, um, uh, you guys weren't in favor of that. Uh -huh. And uh, I just mentioned <clears> it. And after I found out you guys weren't in favor of it, I kind of hit myself in the forehead and I go, ah. I mean, I, I gravel is. I, I wouldn't be so much uh, inclined to say pave it with uh, Bibis, but stone and oil would be a, 
an idea that we would we've kind of been mulling around on all our dirt roads anyway as it is you know it's your road um, I would just like to put a proposal in and um, and get our get our hat, you know hat in the ring and um, so you know it's three hundred seventy thousand dollars just for Massachusetts I don't know what the I don't know what the competition is, but having that universally accessible trail there, um, I think I, I think it'll 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 rank out um, well. And so, I mean, I'd also talk. I did talk to the, the transportation representative at Fish and Wildlife Service who helps us work on these things, and then sort of mentioned that we were coming to you guys. Obviously, we would need to come to the town, and make sure the town is on board before we start proposing something. But just mentioned this as a possibility, and it said it seemed like a good one that would rank, you know, could rank highly. And his scope, uh, he's since transferred to the Northwest, but um, his his scope was for 13, the 13 states in our region, so he was drawn from a pretty good sample. Do you have any other funds available if, <coughs> if we were to go at Stone and Oil and you'd be able to fund the rest of it? Well, I don't know what Stone and Oil would cost. Yeah, well, that's, uh, this is what I'm saying. It's just a little more gravelly. So what we're, I guess what we're saying is, I think we're all on board. So I think we're ready to tell you we would definitely like to participate in this and look at different okay, things. I'll see you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, just out of curiosity, could you point out so people could see how, how much of the land around the road project is actually owned by U.S. Fish and Wildlife right now? Um, well, with the exception of um, basically both sides of the road um, all the way down to with the exception of that small field to the east where the road dips to the south southeast. Right. This area is private land, privately owned, and then there's also the tree farm that's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got the stuff in through here. But I don't know. Everything so else on either side is pretty much. So actually, I think what you'll find is uh, some things have changed since the last time someone brought up paving it probably. And with one l landowner on both sides, people might be a little more receptive to talking about all options for the road this time. But for whatever it's worth, yeah. uh, my preference is, is that it's not paid for the reasons you guys, the, the board passed along uh, through Mr. Nixon a couple of years ago. That was That is right on the money, but it's hammering our vehicles. <laughs> yeah, but if you gravel it, you're still going to be having to grade it and I, maintain I, it. I've got, I've got uh, 40 to 50 miles of gravel roads in different parts of this region that are on refuge land, so I... I understand that, and this Moody Ridge Road is particularly a little challenging given yeah. the substrate. So to get the ball rolling, as you said, how specific do we need to be relative to the top coat we're looking for? I mean, we need to get an estimate as to what the cost would be, so we need the town to um, give us an approximation of the EPW to say we think it would cost about this X amount, so we can see that. Um, I will be in the process of starting to essentially go straight to the grant I've looked at it. It's not a, it's hugely extensive one, it's about six pages or so. Um, I obviously need to come to somebody on the town, whether it be the slick board or somewhere, or DBW, and talk with them, you know, in more in depth so that everybody is in agreement and understanding. I believe it's due mid-April, April 16th, 17th, something to that effect. So that's part of the reason that we're coming now, to give us a little bit of a heads up so we're not coming at the last minute. Um, so, you know, that's kind of the, the next step from our point of view would be to get a, a rough estimate and then to go straight and give you guys a chance to take a look at it. Mm -hmm. So I, I is there a, do we make a formal motion that yes, we're in favor of this? Do we need it or just skip direction to the DPW? Group? It's up to us. I think Mr. Mitchell's. Is there any other strings attached to this with the town? That the town loses any control? rights or anything to do with this or is the taxpayer going to pay any kind of monies into this there, I, I oh, I'm sorry. there's no string, there's absolutely no strings attached to it um as i said there's three hundred seventy thousand dollars per year for the next four years that they're going to spend somewhere in massachusetts so if they don't spend it in hadley they'll spend it in one of the other communities in massachusetts and we'd really like to see their, their road improved but not so much that it turns out to be a back road. Hang on. Right. Well, no, yeah. just for yeah. racetrack. Right. 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 I'm amazed at how some people sail through there as it is. Yeah. In, in the condition it's. I have yeah. one other question. If the town chose to close the road for the winter months because of the high maintenance, would that bother you folks at all? Can you? 
Do you guys close roads? Yes, we do. We can. Right. We have some we do close, but we wouldn't close off access. We would probably close off the longest part of the road, and you'd have to come, come in. Come around the other way? That's not a problem. Yeah. In fact, I started uh, doing that anyway. Pothole yeah. <laughs> <laughs> related incidents. Yes. <laughs> no, it, side. If, yeah. if it was to be uh, regraded, graveled, and stone and oiled, the maintenance issue would be pretty much gone at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Not to get into design at the meeting, but I was actually looking at, at, at something that I've done in the past. I put in some bigger, uh, had a little bit more of a bed under there, and then did all that. Yeah. So, well, but I, I we love the to work with the DPW. Over there with the clay, so it's throughout the whole. So world. I think we're I think we're all in agreement. Yeah. We're yeah. we're on. We'd okay. like to talk to you more. Go ahead and start. Uh, okay. Mike Klamaski is the person to talk to, and Mr. Nixon, okay. um, and we'll go from there. Right. So, so we'd like to just jump right into it. Is that that's not a, that's fine? Like, like next week? Yeah, we're around. Okay. Right. Well, thank you very much for your time, and thank I you. would have liked to invite you to uh, come out to 69 Moody Bridge Road and take a turn around the trail. It, it's it's nice. It's gonna be nice this spring because we restored quite a bit in the way of different types of wetlands out there. So when the amphibians start singing, it's so nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Good night.